And as I end the show tonight, I want to talk about a particular word. In fact, it's no ordinary word. It is known as the most overused word. So there is a high chance that you have already heard of it. The word is vibe. And if in case you haven't heard of it, here's a quick crash course. In the earlier times, if you mentioned the word vibe, it was probably to refer to a vibraphone, the percussion instrument. And from then to now, the word has come a long way. It has made its presence felt in more ways than one. It has made its way to headlines. It has been used to describe the economic downturn as well. It is increasingly used to describe the mood of the area that you're in as well. Even Google swears by it. This piece about its maps feature mentions how you can get a quote unquote wipe check about a particular area. Basically, there is no escaping this word. It's all around us. It can be used to describe uh, the atmosphere of a place, the weather, the mood, the energy of an area, even an outfit. So the word dons many hats. And to put it simply, it could mean vibrations. Do you just sense it when the energy of a place is not quite right or you don't get the energy that you want from a particular person? Basically, something just feels off. So what's the vibe check then? Well, the vibe is off. And that brings me to my next point, that this obsession with intangible vibrations is as old as time. You have probably heard of the Chinese concept of qi or the life force of living things. There is also something called negative qi. It is similar to what we call bad whites. Ancient Greek philosopher scientists had come up with the idea of a so-called fifth element that made the world work, the auras, the fields of energy around people. You know what I mean. But I do want to wrap this show by sending you good vibes. A lot of good energy. Since it is the most overused word already, no harm in using it one more time. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.